you mention Hawaii. What? That's part of our next assignment. You're kidding. You mean you and... Come on, you're kidding me, aren't you? Hey, we go where we're needed. <laughs> That's great. Just keep your eyes on the hands, not on her open. Just keep your eyes on the hands, not on her nanas. Just keep your eyes on the hands. they've come up with now? Male beauty contest. What's so new about that? They've been having Mr. Universe and Mr. America contest for years. I am not talking about the bodybuilding stuff. I'm talking about beauty contest with models. It was swimsuit competition. Guys parade up and down in their tuxedos. I bet they even have Mr. Congeniality. Well, so what? You know, we're looking for equality in the sexes. Hey, don't get me started on that. All I'm saying is that men are not supposed to be pretty. Men are supposed to be men, not parade around in bathing suits. Well, not even on the beach? Well, that's different. Now, if this were Hawaii, then it would be different. <laughs> Why don't you should mention Hawaii? Why? That's part of our next assignment. You're kidding. You mean you wouldn't... Come on, you're kidding me, aren't you? Hey, we go where we're needed. <laughs> that's great. Where are we going to be staying? How's this sound? The Hawaiian Sands, huh? Turn left here. Oh, right. The Hawaiian Sands, that's great. Swaying palms, tropical wind. Oh, pull over here. Oh, great. <laughs> Boy, Jonathan, I tell you, I never thought. Me in Hawaii. Oh, man. Jonathan, I gotta tell you, I tell you, I never thought that we would have. Aloha. Oh, that's cute, Jonathan. Cute. Excuse me. So we're looking for the manager. You found her. What do you want? I understand you have an apartment for rent. Who told you that? A friend of mine lives around the corner on Vista. Probably that old busybody Watkins, huh? Hey, look, if you don't have a vacancy, we'll just... I didn't see that. I've got an apartment. But I was just wondering how you found out so soon. That's all. Oh, can we see it? Well, it's kind of small. Oh, here, let me give you a hand. I don't need your help. Yeah, my name's uh, Jonathan Smith. This is Mark Gordon. I'm Olenny. What do you do for a living? Oh, different things, odd jobs. Hmm. I could use a handyman around here, you know. Yeah, well, you don't manage this place all by yourself, do you? 
Well, I have this one friend who's supposed to help me out around here. But lately, he uh, hasn't been too reliable. Like I said, a little small for two, you know. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take it. Okay. Come on over to my place and we'll get the paperwork out of the way. Uh, were you serious about getting somebody to help you out around here? You're looking for a break in the rent? Just trying to be friendly. I might take you up on that. Here's your receipt. You understand the rent is higher only because you're month to month. Well, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Aloha. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. I went to the store. They just got some fresh poi in and mango. And look at this lao lao. It won't taste like the ones in Kaimo Key. Nothing grows right over here. What's wrong this time? These two gentlemen over here just rented apartment seven. And the faucet in the kitchen is still leaking. I thought you were going to fix it. You rented it already? That was quick. Don't worry. I'll take care of it just as soon as I take the rest of this stuff back to my place. And what about the gas leak in Mrs. Herman's? I didn't find any leak. I think Mrs. Herman just likes to complain. Well, I don't like it when she complains to me. Hey, I might be able to help with that gas leak. I used to work on installing appliances. I mean, if you don't mind. You be doing him a favor. Give him more time for doping off or whatever you're doing nowadays. You got something going on the side? No, oh, some errands just piled up, and I've been trying to take care of them. I'll meet you back at your place. All right, wait, while you're doing that, I'll go see what I can do for Mrs. Herman. Let me have the screw. That manager, Alani, she always like that? What do you mean? Mad with Phillips? You know, growling and, you know, picking on people all the time. Ah, I don't pay any attention to her. Her bark is worse than her bite. I'm glad to hear that. Because she has got one fierce bark on her. Well, a lot of bad has happened to her. You mean being crippled? That and a lot of things. But mostly that. She was a big star in her body. What? Her? Hey, don't judge her by the way she is now. When she danced, it was the best. It was like a breeze blowing through the Kiabi trees. And sing oh, like an angel. Well, what happened? She was on her way to church to sing for a special Thanksgiving service. The truck hit her broadside. The driver was drunk out of his mind. The doctors never expected her to live, much less ever walk again. Then when she started to get better, they told her she'd be stuck in a wheelchair the rest of her life. And there was nothing she could do about it. Doesn't look like she believed them. Al Lenny doesn't like people to tell her what she can or can't do. I'm telling you, I got bills to pay, and I count on that check. Give me a break. I can't deliver what I don't have. It should have been here four days ago. I know. What do you want from me? Did you check back at the post office? You know how they always losing things there. Did you ever think that maybe the trucking company didn't send it out this month? They never make a mistake. The whole time they've been paying. Always the first time. Maybe you should go yell at the trucking company. Hey, you got a problem? I guess so. Darn if I can figure it out. It was running fine an hour ago, and now nothing. Want me to take a look? I know a little bit about it, ain't you? Yeah, sure thing. Except I think it's too late to do any good today. I have to be at work in an hour. What, do you work nights? Yeah, I sing at the Club Waikiki. You're kidding. What, what do you sing, Hawaiian songs and stuff? Mm-hmm. Mostly stuff. <laughs> Boy, I love Hawaiian music. Hey, wait a minute. How are you going to get to work without a car? Oh, I'll catch a bus. No problem. Hey, no way. I'll drive you. I can't ask you to do that. Besides, the bus passes right near the club. It'll take you twice as long on a bus. Besides, I got a perfectly good car right here. <sighs> Tell you what. You and Jonathan drive me to the club, and then the both of you stay and watch the act as my guest. Hey, I wasn't angling for it. I know that. Come on, what do you say? All right, you got a deal. Give me five minutes to change. You got it. All right. Whenever you 
watching a hula girl dance You gotta be careful, you're tempting romance Don't keep your eyes on her hips, her naughty hula hips Just keep your eyes on the hands Remember she's telling a story to you Her opal is swaying, but don't watch the view Don't concentrate on the swing, it doesn't mean a thing Just keep your eyes on the hands And when she goes around the island swinging hips so tantalizing Just keep your eyes where they belong Because the hula has a feeling that'll send your senses reeling It makes a weak man strong It's great, you know, it's almost like being in Hawaii What? I said it's almost like being in Hawaii Not quite, but almost But if you're too young to date or over 98, just keep your eyes on the hands, not on her opu. Just keep your eyes on the hands, not on her nanas. Just keep your eyes on the hands. Hey, listen, you enjoy the show. I'll see you back in the park. Where you going? I gotta work on the assignment. Oh. Good evening. Where's your partner? Oh, he's still back at the club. He's waiting for Danny to finish his last set. Two shows? He must be some kind of glutton for punishment. Mark, oh, he's crazy about Hawaii and anything Hawaiian. Then what's he doing in that phony club? Well, he'd never let up to you. How did you like it? I thought the show was terrific. Danny's a great entertainer. He's a clown. He's a clown. Come on. You think saying I'm the cockeyed mayor of Kauna Kakai and making all those funny faces, you think it's good? Well, the audience certainly did. They loved the show. Pew. <sighs> he used to sing with me back home in Kauai. Oh, he was a real singer back there. You should hear him sing our songs like Akaka Falls and Kalama Ula, Kuu Ipo. Music that had real meaning for us. Not those Hub Holly songs like The Princess Papuli Has Plenty Papaya. Come on. Those kinds of songs make him look like a clown. Let me ask you a question. If you love Kauai so much, why didn't you ever go back? Well, it's time to go to bed. Why don't you just bring in my chair for me? You still haven't answered my question. Why didn't you go back? Nothing back there for me. Oh, that's not true, Alani. What do you know about it? Well, I'd say that someone who was as famous as the Waikiki Nightingale would have no trouble finding an audience back home. You know who I am? Come on, anybody who spent any time in Hawaii knows who you are. That was a long time ago. A long time. What brought you here? You ask too many questions, you know that? Yeah, I know that. What brought you here? When I was 19, I worked every hotel in Waikiki. I was a big star in Hawaii. <laughs> then one day, this fellow from the mainland came backstage and said, we're going to do a big Hawaiian show in Las Vegas. Build it around me. And all my friends said, you better not do it. Hawaiian shows don't work on the mainland. The magic fades, you know, when you leave the islands. It fades. Gotta have, gotta have tropic nights. Have to have trade winds. Whatever. I knew better. Show closed in three weeks. And you stayed here. I wasn't going to let all those people say, I told you so. No way. I'd go back when I was good and ready. When I was a big star here, like I was back in Honolulu. 
And of course, and of course the truck. And Danny was in the show with you. Oh, sure. One of my backup singers. But what about him? Why didn't he go home? He likes it here. He's got no drive. He wasted his talent. Hey, what are you writing? A book about Hawaiian husbands? <laughs> no, no, I'm just interested. Yeah? <laughs> well, I'm interested in going to bed. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget my ride tomorrow. I won't forget. Eight o'clock. Good night, Lonnie. All right, Miss uh, Kealoa. Let's stop beating around the bush. Just what kind of a shakedown are we talking about here? What do you mean, shakedown? You think I'm faking this? Oh, not at all. I, I know that injury is genuine. I also know that that particular claim was settled long ago and with a rather large payment. I know that. I was there and I signed those papers. Then. What are we talking about here? I'm talking about the other checks. The ones that you send to me every month. Uh, Miss Kealoa, there have been no additional payments. Are you trying to tell me that I'm... Just a second, Olivia. Are you saying that your company has not sent Miss Kealoa a check each month? Not to my knowledge. And it couldn't be done without my knowledge. Well, only were they company checks? They were cashier's checks, drawn on the Western Bank. Well, there you are. We don't even do business with that particular bank. It's open. Have you seen our Lenny? Uh, John and drove her downtown. What for? Well, she said something about a trucking company not sending the monthly check or something. She was going to go down and talk to him about it. Somebody's been sending me money every month. Money that's been keeping me alive all these years. Oh, I think that's a little strong, don't you? No, it isn't. Without those checks every month, I don't know how I would have gotten along. I've come to depend on those checks. <sighs> I have a feeling now I, I'm not going to get them anymore. Yeah, well, maybe that's a blessing in disguise. Easy for you to say. You're not a cripple. How am I going to come up with that kind of money on my own? Oh, come on, Alani. You still got your mind, your voice, your hands. You could go home and make a good living. You want me to sit around Waikiki, making coconut hats for those holly tourists? No, thank you. Not all Lani. Why I didn't mean to interrupt. What do you want? This is for you. The mailman must have put it in my box a couple of days ago by mistake. What is it? Must be your monthly check from the trucking company. Should have noticed it sooner, but you know, I sort of let my mail pile up. Sorry. Well, see you later. 
Take care. Hey, we could have said thank you. What for? Oh, come on. Danny's the one who's been sending you those checks, and you know it. He's been lying to me for all these years. What do I want to thank him for? Yeah, well, maybe he wanted to save you the embarrassment of taking money from him. You know, as a lie, that's about on a par with a tooth fairy. It's still a lie. Would you have taken the money if you knew it was from him? No way. Why not? Why not? I don't want to be obligated to anybody. He doesn't want you to feel obligated to him. He loves you. Oh, sure. He's madly in love with me. Come on. What's the matter with you, Alani? I mean, why do you think he's been taking care of you all these years? And I'm not just talking about the money. I'm talking about running errands for you, fixing things around this place. He feels sorry for me. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have to. You're too busy feeling sorry for yourself. I don't have to sit around and listen to this. Where do you get off? Just where do you get off thinking you've got the right to butt in other people's business? And where do you get off thinking being handicapped gives you the right to take and never give? Well, you stay in this great hotel in Waikiki, but you can walk through the lobby of this place right onto the beach. It was great. Then we went to see everything, you know, the Polynesian Cultural Center, the Arizona Memorial Pearl Harbor, Diamond Head. Oh, boy, was that place great. Hey, I forgot to ask you, where are we going anyway? Um, anywhere around 17th and Carpenter. Hey, I'll take you right there. You just say when. You know what got me most? Was the water. Is it always that warm? Hmm? Uh, well, yeah, all year round. What a place. Well, you can let me out here. If we're not the 17th yet. Oh, that's OK. We're close enough. Thanks for the lift. You want me to wait? Oh, no, I don't know how long I'll be, so I'll take the bus back. Thanks, Mark. in a bus loading zone. It's against the law. Come on. so bad.
okay? I'll be fine. You sure? Would you come with me to Alenny's? I have to tell her something and... Uh... Need a little moral support, huh? Yeah. You got it. It's open. Come in. I brought you some fresh papaya juice. Well, put it in the refrigerator. I like it cold. Lenny, I'm going home. So? Go home. No, I mean really home, to Hawaii. How long will you be gone? Forever. I'm not coming back. Why? Because I didn't thank you for lying to me about those checks? Hey, I never asked you for money. It had nothing to do with the checks. And why? Because it's my home. And what about your job? You think you're going to get a job back home? <laughs> you're only a backup singer. Oh, I don't care. I'll be where I want to be. I hope you'll be all right. <laughs> I'll be fine. What? You think I need you? I let you hang around because I felt sorry for you. Go on. Go back. Well, go on! Sky tonight, huh? Stars look close enough to touch. Sky's clear in Kauai. Oh, the Garden Isle. Is that where you're from? Yes. You know there's a god when you see Kauai. Mark tells me you're going back. Yes, I. I leave day after tomorrow. They're having a goodbye celebration for me at the club tomorrow night after the show. Sort of a bon voyage party. Ah, uh, should be fun. A lot of going to the party? No. Did you ask her? You don't know Eleni. She doesn't go out and she doesn't want people to see her. I've tried before, many times. Tried to get her to sing again. Tried to get her to go back to Hawaii. It's, it's no use. So I say to myself, Danny, Stop wasting your time hanging around where you're not wanted. Time to enjoy myself. Lots of pretty women in Kauai. You know, you're not a very good liar, Danny. You love Alani, don't you? Don't you? Four years ago, I had an operation. It was nothing. My gallbladder. In the hospital a few days and, and out. 
They gave me a blood transfusion. Big deal, right? I have AIDS. I don't want her there when it begins to happen. And I don't want her to see. Jonathan, I know what's going to happen to me, barring some miracle, some decision by the government to spend more money saving lives than taking them, but what's going to happen to Olani? Club tomorrow night? It should be fun. Mark and I will be there. show. <laughs> I thought you left Makoe already. No, I, I leave in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, have a good flight. <laughs> I will. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> thought you might like this plant. I can't take it with me, and I don't want it to die. Uh, leave it over there. Leave it over there on the table. On. I have to work tonight. <laughs> Aloha, Olani. Aloha, Danny. Can't live in the past. Why not? Better than the future. So, Danny was crazy in love with me, right? 
Got a funny way of showing it. Let's come back to Hawaii, in case you haven't heard. Yeah, I heard. I always knew he would someday. In a way, it's a relief. He was always hanging around, talking about the island. At least now I'll get a little peace and quiet. You're really frightened, aren't you? Me? Of what? Of being alone. Of losing the only person who ever really cared about you. Are you back to that really cared about me business? He's going. He's walking out. He makes me depend on him all these years, and then suddenly he leaves. Of course I'm scared. Who's going to take care of me? Who's going to help me? Would you listen to yourself? Who's going to take care of me? Who's going to look after me? Did you ever stop to think there are other people in this world besides you? You don't know what you're talking about. You're not crippled. Oh, I know you're crippled. How could I forget it? You talk about it all the time. You know how many handicapped people there are in this country? Do you? 30 million. And I'll tell you something else. Most of them, most of them are trying to put their disabilities behind them. They want jobs. They want to work and be part of this society. They don't want to sit around and feel sorry for themselves. Why don't you get out of here? Go be with Danny, who loves me so much, he leaves me a lousy plant. See this? After all these years, this is what I get. Matter of fact, I don't want to take care of this plant. Take it. Let him take care of it himself. After all the years he took care of you, you can't even take care of his plant. That's right. I can't. He cared more about this lousy plant than he did me. Danny cares about all life. Life becomes very important when you die. What do you mean? Danny is dying. What are you saying? That's not true. Oh, yes, it is lying. No! He's lying if he told you that. Yeah, he had an operation, but it wasn't cancer. It was benign. Oh, he's just looking for sympathy. Thank you all very much. As most of you know, tonight is my last show. I'm going home to my lovely Kauai. I'll miss you all, but it's time to move on. I only wish that, that maybe.
Still like us. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could get the act together on Kauai again. We go home. To be with you, I go anywhere. Oh, Lenny. I love you, Danny. I love you. I was so afraid to say it before because I didn't believe you could really love me the way I am. <laughs> But love goes beyond all things. I know that now. Oh. Please, let me be with you. I love you. And I need you. And I love you. <laughs> 